morning sweet sweets welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel for those of you who are have been rocking with me welcome to these sweet sweet streets where we love all things aesthetically pleasing we love all things that just stimulate us and you know get our girly flowing you know what i'm saying we like um all the beauty products uh fragrances travel um yeah, skincare, makeup, that's beauty products, but we love fashion, we love all the things here. So if you like that kind of thing, then and you think you might like my vibe, continue to watch and um, you know, let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up in the comment section or, or thumb, a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section. And um, I'm getting ready to go to church, so let me, show you my outfit real quick um i'll start off here with my makeup i have on this so this is actually a beanie that's over a hat i don't know if i could show you the the hat is under there the hat is from um francis gray now i gotta put it back it's from francis gray it's a um the donnie hat i think it's called Donnie and it's like raffia so in my attempt to make it more um because it's a gloomy sunday here <laughs> you know it's not springtime just yet so i put this beanie with a net it's just a regular beanie and it has a net attached to it i put that over the hat and yeah we have to sing today so we're wearing all black, and so I, um, you know, thought that might be a, a cool thing. These earrings are from Koi. Um, it's a black-owned um, brand, and I am in love with these earrings. I actually wore them last Sunday. This cuff is, I ordered it from Amazon. Super cute. This one as well. This one came from Amazon, too. Um, my chain is from Zara. But let me show you. Oh, actually, this pin is from Amazon as well. This Loewe um, inspired pink pin. Okay, so I just have on this regular black um, turtleneck from Zara. Um, I wish they would make their these a little longer, like the sleeves a little longer, you know, to where they would hit here. I like that look, but nonetheless, this is it. I put these pins on. I ordered these from Amazon as well. They just like the little you know brooch pins but i thought that was a cute little vibe since i'm wearing all black i you know just kind of wanted to zhuzh up my outfit a little bit so i have on this belt that i got from etsy it's a play on the off-white belt which i might i might try to find one of those because i really like this belt and the off-white one the strap the um this is much longer so i might try to find that but anyway i like the pop of color um i have on this amazon be hooking me up y'all i got on this bone cuff this is a plate on the tiffany bone cuff from um don't mind my husband coming in he's he's coming in we're getting ready to go to church but this bone cuff is from amazon as well um i have my my uh fendi watch on it's mixed metals but I just feel naked without it. Um, this skirt is from Target. And my white boots are also from Amazon. And let's see what else am I wearing? Am I in your way? <laughs> You're not in my way. You're never in my way. Okay. That's sweet. <laughs> I also, because it's kind of cool outside, I got to be careful when I put this on because I'm hitting these. I'm going to off. You butt down with somebody? Hey, how are you? <laughs> I, I just butt down. Now he's in my way. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I got on my Franken shop blazer. Oh my gosh. Okay, now you're in my way, babe. Okay. Okay. All right, we're back. I got on my Frankie Shop blazer. This chain is from Zara as well. And I was saying I have to be careful when I'm putting this on because I may pull my 
I'm noticing that I may pull my um, little brooches here. But then I'm gonna carry my um, Christmas present that I got. My Gucci horse fit bag. And so this is my look for today. I need to grab some sunnies and then that will be it. All right, see you guys later. searching and I've always wanted some white pumps and Louis Vuitton has these pumps y'all they are the not not heels and not pumps or something like that when I tell you the things are insane insane in the membrane like they are stuck they're stuck but I was also looking on JW pie I think it's called and they have some um, some white heels too that mm, they may do the trick. I don't know, but I may have to put those the, the Louis Vuitton ones on my on my um, birthday wish list. <laughs> my birthday is in May, so I'm like, hmm, I wonder if we could pull this off by May. You know what I'm saying? I think that might be a a plan if I just put that out there. Throw that out into this this atmosphere in this house, <laughs> and see um see what see what what happens. How much they love me. <laughs> Look who I got. <laughs> It's the Kennedy Stevens. Uh-huh. Yep. This is one of my babies. Uh-huh. She sang with me. For come on, sing with me. Here? Here and a half or two? Yep. Uh-huh. So she's doing big things. Enough, right? It's called enough. Uh-huh. Her single is out. Alright, I'm going to Zumba. Her single is out. It's called Is It Enough to Make You Stay? Make me stay or something like that, but <laughs> it's one of those. Uh, hey, girl, how you doing? Yeah, but that's one of my babies. She sang with me. Um, she got injured. She was in had an injury, so she's out here with her mom. Um, I'm looking for her mom now. I just saw her. Anyway, I'm on my way to Zumba. Um, oh, there she is. It's a video. Uh -huh. I was just over there singing with Kennedy. Is it enough? <laughs> I just walked two miles, and now I'm um, gonna hit Zumba, and then the sauna, and that's it. This guy over here, he thinks he be trying to look. <laughs> he thinks he's our trainer. So whenever he um. Whenever he sees us doing something he don't like, he's like, mm, switch that up, do something else. I probably should have came in here and did this body pump class. They got weights, but I'm assuming you can make it, um, you can do it at your own level, you know what I'm saying? We can do it with the bar though, for real. They don't ever get you from a weather I just found out.
just finished doing um, my mom's hair. I couldn't film it because I'm on my phone. And we were listening to music on my phone in order to keep her occupied. Mm. I figured I had to lock the door. Anyway, so I finished uh, her hair. Let's look at it. Look at it. It's cute. Tell the people hi. <laughs> Say hi. I defined her curls and uh, trimmed it just a little bit. I should have had brought my clippers, but I didn't. Anyway, I didn't bring my clippers, so I couldn't finish it. Like, you know, cut it, cut it. But that should do. It'll hold her until um, I think she gets... She had a shower this morning, which I should have done this before she took her shower. That way they can get all the hair off of her. But, um, she go moving that chair. She loves to go back there and move that chair. And then walk behind it and that's it. Come on, girl. <laughs> I was going to take her to get her, her nails and feet done today, but um, I'll try to do that before the week's out. Get her um, nails and feet done. I thought about signing her up to get it done here, but I think I'm gonna still take that outing with her, you know, as long as I can, so. Oh, <laughs> when I turned the camera on, I just realized, well, maybe I should keep them on. I just realized I had my glasses on my shades, but I've been um, stirring around in the garage trying to get some kind of rhyme or reason to it because um, yeah, it's just, it, it's just getting out of control. So this right here is trash. This part, this whole little section is trash, but my trash cans with the exception of my green can, it's full. But listen, I want to say thank you to Latuanis, um, Latanya, and uh, Brenda for, look at the donation center. The, the pins, <laughs> we got a little, we got a little stash. And um, I even have, I still have some in my trunk. I keep five bags in my trunk, which I'm going to have to go through my trunk next. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff needs to come out of here, too. But, um, thank you guys so much for donating to my mom. These depends. Um, they definitely are appreciated. I had to get some rhyme or reason to this. It may not look like <laughs> it's organized to you guys, but I had put all of Mark's golf little the little things, the covers and stuff, here, and the bags that they come in, and I guess like ball ball bags, things like that. I put that all in that red container. I need to get a, a marker and put golf on it so he'll know that's where his things go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got shoes. I put shoes right here. Cause he got, he brings his, he backs his car up and then he unloads this um, cart down here um, I guess <laughs> this is the second car the second car garage I guess that's where the golf cart the little pool cart parks so now this corner is I don't know I'm probably gonna make the girls get that together because they have taken over my little area <laughs> with all of their things. Brianna be doing locks over here and Morgan got her wig and all the color and all the stuff. So yeah, I don't know. Once Maybe I'll just go ahead and, and knock that out <laughs> and then have, you know, have them to keep it like that. I'm getting ready to sweep in here and I'm gonna um, probably run the water hose around here. And then I need to get a mask so I can spray um, all my little weeds and stuff outside. 
So, I have a little work to do. That's why I haven't been on camera. Um, I'm gonna keep my glasses on just to keep the dust and stuff out of my eyes. But yeah, I'm just trying to get some kind of rhyme or reason. Maybe I'll show you guys when I'm done. To be honest, I would love to have one of those garages <laughs> where nothing is in there. You ever go to people's house? I'm sure most of you guys' garages look like that. <laughs> where there's nothing, it's all clean and as a whistle, you know what I'm saying? You can hear an echo in there. I would love to have that kind of garage, but I have too much of my stuff, mama stuff, Mark stuff, mother stuff, daddy stuff. Oh my gosh, it is nighttime. <laughs> and this man, he probably thought I was being so rude. I was running out of Albertsons and he was actually pointing to me. He said something and then he pointed to my hat. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care nothing about the Yankees. I just like the hat. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was trying to rush. The Girl Scouts hit me up when I came out the door. And I'm like, in my mind, that possum is out here. You remember? Y'all remember that possum I saw? A big old possum I saw? <laughs> I'm like, what I won't be doing is tearing outside. So, shoot. I was trying to get past the Girl Scouts. Um, and them doggone cookies and then he's talking about the hat and I'm trying to my back is hurt and I'm trying to run to the car real quick <laughs> so the possum won't get me and I got my chai tea latte with two scoops of matcha because I watched this video this morning about <clears throat> um, how matcha is good for the for brain health and you guys know I'm all about that. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, matcha. So I got two scoops of it, which is fine. Like, I could probably get more. I don't mind the taste of matcha. Um, one of you guys told me to get two pumps of vanilla, and that's what I forgot. I got the oat milk, but I forgot the vanilla. Doggone it. Um, but it's still good. Then I gotta get up early in the morning because it's trash day. And I thought Morgan had taken the um, trash cans out last week, but she did not. You know, Mark was out of town, so he told us to remember. And I thought when I told her to take the trash out, I thought she was taking them outside. I saw her walk out the front door. <laughs> Like, why would you walk out the front door to take the trash to the trash can? We don't typically do that. But nonetheless, it didn't go out last week. So um, my cans are full, full, full. <laughs> and I saw my neighbor. I saw him um, come out. He had his granddaughter in his arms, and he just brought his one trash can out. I was like, can you bring your recycle out? <laughs> And can I use your trash can to put me? I wanted to do that so bad. He's the one with the little yapping dog. If I would know him better, I would have asked him, but I don't know him like that, so. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It might not be the, you know, I don't know. He might have been okay. He looked at my trash can. He said, ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Yes, sir. And he did ask me, did I need help? Okay, all showered. Um, I feel much better. Still ready to get <laughs> get some sleep, but I feel much better. For the garage situation, um, those racks that I bought, like the shelves, I bought those mm, last year, and I bought them with the idea that I would um house like all my Christmas decor or my, my decor, you know, holiday decor in bins and stack them real nicely and aesthetically up there. But as soon as I brought the do doggone things in, Mark's like, oh good, cause you know, <laughs> I need some places to put my, my golf equipment. And so I could put that up there. I'm like, oh, how you gonna have ideas for the stuff that I bought? <laughs> I mean, you know, of course I'm going to share with you some space. I'll share a couple shelves with you, but he has completely taken the doggone thing over. 
And so, um, with no rhyme or reason, like just throwing stuff up here, willy nilly throwing stuff up. And so, it's, I had to go in there and take all that stuff down because then people start, you guys start, thank you so much, start donating um, the Depends to my mom. And, um, you know, I needed a place for those. And then, like, I intended my, my decor, you know, my um, holiday decor. Some of it is in the guest room closet and some of it is on that shelf. So, um, ideally, I would like for all of it to be up there, but mm, don't look like that's going to happen. So, um, I got all that done. So let me just do hair. Oh, I'm gonna put this. I got this Billie Eilish fragrance. It's kind of like a creamy cinnamon. That's how I would describe it. Um, I'm not sure of the notes. I'll have to look them up for you guys if anybody's interested. But definitely cinnamon I smell, but like a creamy one. So maybe there's some vanilla or something in here. I like to put it right here on my wrist real good because I sleep like that. So the shelving in the garage, you know, I don't know. It's not doing what I want it to do, but it is serving a purpose. So I have to be satisfied with that for right now until I'm ready to do something else. But I would like to get my guest room closet free. And the reason I'm, I'm like in double time mode is because um next week not this weekend next thursday on the 14th i believe it is my um my big sister is coming she's not my real sister i'm the only girl in my family but you know she's like my sounding board my she's my one of my people you know, I mean, you know how you have a bunch of friends that do a bunch of different things, but she's the wisdom of the of the crew. So, anyway, she's coming. It, it'll be her birthday. She's coming to hang out with me for her birthday, her and her husband. And then we have the retreat that weekend, or not the retreat, the um, marriage workshop is um, that Saturday. So we get back. Mark and I are going to Cabo on Monday. You guys pray that it just happens, you know. <laughs> Maybe by the time you watch this video, I should be in Cabo. But, um, yeah, we're going to Cabo. And then we are um, coming back that Thursday. We leave Monday, come back Thursday. They come in Thursday night. So I won't have any time to be preparing. So I'm trying to get everything done this week and then pray that the girls don't mess things up <laughs> by the time <laughs> uh, we all come in on a Thursday, you know? So that's why I'm trying to get everything done with the bed. And um, I was gonna, ta you know, tackle it tomorrow, but my goddaughter called me, she's in town. And she and her little boy, he's, I think, three. And um, she wants to take him to the aquarium. And so they called me and asked me to go tomorrow. So I'm thinking about doing that. Probably will. Um, just because we don't get to spend much time together. In case you guys are wondering, at first, I first went over my face with a toner with Paula's Choice. Exfoliant toner. I've done my face routine my nighttime face routine a million times on camera so but since I'm doing it with the camera on I better tell you guys first I went with Paula's Choice liquid exfoliant um, which is a, it's a toner and an exfoliant I did that and then I put on snail mucin by Car Cos RX um, Lisa where is it? It's in my room. Lisa bought me another snail mucin. I should have used that one so that I could show you guys that since it's a new product. But 
whenever I use it, I'll show you guys. Um, yeah, so the last thing I put on was snail mucin. Now I'm gonna put on my Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum, which I didn't put a dent in this one. I don't wanna have to buy this again. This is expensive. I actually hate buying this, but I love how it feels on my skin. And then after this, I'll go back in with, well, I'll go in with the um, Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. It is really hydrating. Oh, I'm lying. I'm gonna put my, my eye depuffer on. Probably should put that on in the morning. It just feels so cool on my skin. Um, I'm gonna use this Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. Now they have a cream, and then this one is the jelly. This is the one that's blue. This is the one I like. Cause it's like, <laughs> feels like giving your, um, your skin a drink of water. I say that all the time, cause that's really the best description that I could give this stuff. It's really cool. It's really slick and slippery. Um, but it's hydrating. Your skin really drinks it up. So look how I look right now. <laughs> but it's gonna it's gonna absorb into my skin. And um prayerfully I won't be getting all these these breakouts. This bump is almost gone. I done picked the scab off of it so many times. <laughs> it's like, would you please let me heal? <laughs> I always take the extra products and put them on my hands because they say your hands uh, show your age. <laughs> so I always put the excess products on my hand, under my neck, and on my decolletage, decollete. My favorite sheets, put them on. Um, I'm waiting for my pillowcases. They weren't quite quite dry for some reason. I don't know how the sheets dry, but the um, pillowcases did not. Um, so I'm waiting on those to come out. Um, I think I told you guys about it. If you like a firm pillow, that gel dough pillow, it's like a shredded dough that they infuse with gel, and they that's what they... Um, uh, stuff the pillow with it is a great technology for those who like a firm um, a firm pillow or, or more on the firm side it's definitely not hard but it is a I would consider it a firm pillow but it's like um, it's not just like the memory foam how your your face kind of falls into or your head or whatever falls into the foam um, it's pulled apart so it helps the movement helps the, it doesn't feel as stiff to me. So anyway, if you like a pillow like that, I'll put on the screen the name of it, but it's a gel dough, shredded gel dough technology. Okay, this snail mucin that Lisa got me is um, by Black Snail uh, Repair, Black Snail Repair Emulsion. Um, Holika Holika is who it's by. But she picked it up at Marshall's. So if you want to try a snail mucin, this is very reasonably priced. It's $7.99. Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> and this is a much bigger bottle than that Cost RX one. And I'm sure I paid more for the Cost RX snail mucin. Um She's, she says she's enjoying this. So it looks different because the Casa RX one is um, clear. I'm just going to put a little bit on. It's not as sticky like, not sticky but slimy. Um, I really can't give this an accurate review yet because... I had so much other stuff on my face, but so it doesn't have a fragrance. I love that. I don't like stuff with fragrance on my face. And yeah, like I said, the um, 
Consistency is different, but snail mucin nonetheless, if you want to try it, just, you know, try it and get the one from Marshalls. I think she said it's kind of hard to find though. But, you know, if you shop in Mar Marshalls, you know how to, how to search because <laughs> they be having you on the, putting a hump in your back, you know? Good morning. Today is Tuesday. So um, last night my goddaughter called me and she asked me, the youngest one, she asked me did I want to go to the aquarium with she and her mom and her son. So, you know, seeing as though I don't, I don't spend much time with her, I'm like, okay, this is really not my thing. Like, I didn't go on field trips. My husband did all the field trips to all this kind of stuff. <laughs> my husband did it, not me. I've never been on a field trip with any of my kids. <laughs> so, I'm strictly doing this, you know, for her because I know she's been trying to help her sister. Her sister is the one that lost her husband. I think I, um, if you watched last week's vlog, my oldest god goddaughter's husband um, committed suicide. So it's been, you know, a rough few weeks. And my youngest goddaughter has been the one helping her sister, you know. So I just kind of wanted to pour into her a little bit, you know. Um, but. <laughs> So they, she told me, okay, we got to be, you know, leave at 10. It is 9.54 now. And I just called them to see what was what because I hadn't heard anybody say they left the house or anything like that. Um, they're all coming from different directions. So <laughs> when I called Ajane, which is the youngest one, She's like, oh, um, where are we gonna meet? And then I said, oh, okay, let's meet off 6th Street. You know, and she was like, oh, okay. And then Ashley, the oldest one said, oh, I didn't wanna meet there, cause I wanna, it feels too much like going to work. I'm like, we didn't even know you were going. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but okay, where do you wanna meet? They got her spoiled, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, I know she's going through a lot, so let's let's just let her, you know, call a few shots. But I don't spend as much time with her, and I don't know her as well as the youngest one. And so, uh, I'm like, okay. So I don't need to be gone all day. Is my thing. They said ten, and they also said that my cousin had to be back at two o'clock. Um, or be somewhere at 2.45 so she needs to be back by like 2 so that, that will work for me but we gotta come on back as a matter of fact I'm gonna go gas up and uh, in case I have to meet him there cause it's 10 o'clock and I'm right now I'm just driving around trying to figure out stuff to do I'm about to go on Home Goods. I'm gonna go get some gas <laughs> I'm gonna go to Home Goods. And, um, yeah, because I don't want to be caught up all day. And if I have to leave, I just have to leave, you know. I was looking forward to spending time, you know, riding in the car together. You know, that's when you, when you go to stuff like that. You spend most of your time together in the car, you know, the car rides and stuff like that. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. Uh, I feel like me driving is, is settling in my spirit. I don't really like to be without my car anyway and at the mercy of other people. So, I don't know. It's the little control thing in me, I guess. I just came over to Home Goods. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna make y'all wait for me. I'm not waiting for you. Anyway, I got these bowls. Isn't this bowl fresh? This is so cute, like, to sit up on top of the cabinet. I don't know what I could put in there. Some of my fake fruit, maybe. I think that'll be dope over the, um, like for the summer and spring, you know, season, spring, summer. And then I got this to put on my um, 
in my hallway on the, the door hanger. I know I have some Easter decor and I gotta find it. Only thing I found was what I put on my kitchen counter, but I, sh I think I have some more stuff and I don't know what I did with it. Cashier and I had it since I've moved, so it should be close. I just gotta figure out where to deal with it. You have to teach people how not to disregard your time, you know? Now when you sitting there waiting for me, then you'll understand how that felt for me to wait for you. <laughs> Let's see, can I get a lucky lemon punch? Large. Look at her, she really wants to touch this that thing. She wants to touch she wants to touch that. Really bad, huh? <laughs> you couldn't get to him? Maybe the other side. They look like they're favoring the other side more. Here you go. Here's your opportunity. communicate with them <laughs> sure <I can. laughs> listen when I say I'm tired I'm tired for some reason I got up this morning super early like mm, four o'clock I couldn't fall back to sleep, so I'm like, let me get out of here so I don't wake Mark up. Because he was snoring, honey. He was he was getting his rest. <laughs> he was getting all of his rest. So I'm like, let me just go downstairs. Um, I was tempted to start cleaning up, but I just didn't want to wake up everybody in the house, you know, um, doing all that. So I just went down there and kind of got on my phone. And then I ended up dozing off just a little bit. But I think I woke up because I was... Um, sore <laughs> you know laying down when I lay down I get stiff and so I woke up feeling sore you know what I mean and so um if I had my rathers I would have got up and got in the shower that probably would have made me feel better but after cleaning the garage yesterday and working in the yard and all the things that I did yesterday yeah my body was just sore so i got up and once the sun came up mark and i took all the trash out to and then we had to wait for the trash guy to come or the guys each truck to come so they would um we could fill up keep refilling those trash cans with all the stuff that i pulled out of the garage and threw away then today i walked around the, the aquarium Mm -mm. My body is like, what are you doing, lady? What are you doing? <laughs> Brianna and Morgan came in. And they were trying to eat up my salmon. I, they don't even be here. You know what I'm saying? It's like they don't even be here. They don't. They, they don't stick around the house until I make some salmon or something. And I just bought a little bit of. I only bought the like a couple of the portion sizes for me and Mark. You know. 
Because they're just never here. And when they are here, they come in with Panera or somebody. You know what I mean? They don't ever be calling to ask us, do we want something? <laughs> so when I got when I got back, um, I sat on the couch and I started dozing off. And Brianna was like, Nanny, can I have some um, salmon? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, just don't get a lot. You know? Okay. Then Morgan came down and she, she pulled out the chicken. So I thought she was going to eat chicken wings she pulled out some chicken and i looked at her plate and she had a piece of salmon on her plate too I'm like well i'll be doggone i i i only tasted a piece of it when i cooked it you know just checking the seasoning and stuff I'm like, these girls don't even be here shoot anyway i cook something and they get <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm gonna run into Home Goods real quick because I need a mirror in my hallway and um, like at the townhouse I really enjoyed having a full full length mirror up, um, at the um, oh those are cute thank you those are cute thank you um. I really enjoyed having a full length mirror on the bottom level right as you walked out the door. And so I'm finding that, you know, once I get downstairs, there's nowhere to do a full length view. Oh, look at that's pretty too, that picture. It's gorgeous. Um, so let's see if I can find something that's. Not too expensive. Excuse me. That's not too expensive. Um, these are cute. What can I do with these? Nothing. It's just something to spend money on. So I'm looking for something that's inexpensive to go right down, right outside of the bathroom. Now see, I was really counting on home goods to have just what I need. I don't need a big mirror. I don't need it to be super tall or wide at all. I need it to be long, but more narrow than these that I'm seeing. Like that would be cute if it were going somewhere else, but that's too wide. I need something probably even a little bit more narrow than that one. Hmm. Ah, home goods. So he was able to get the mirror um, discounted for me because there was something on it which I have the magic, magic solution that I use to get uh, all that glue and stuff off um, my cups and things because I did it in the last vlog. I use peroxide, Dawn, no, oil. Oil, was it oil and peroxide or oil and Dawn? Something like that. I remember, well, I'll, I'll have to remember what it was, but um, he discounted that and then I was also able to get another discount from, um, from, um, She's laughing at me because I'm, I'm vlogging, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I was also able to get another discount. I think it was like 30% off or something like that. So, I'm going to go up here and pick up the mirror. Oops. I had actually seen this mirror when I came up here yesterday. Now, it's hard for me to see in there because the lights... Um, have been off there like their their power went out and then they got these just a few lights in there and they got this big sign at the door saying we're open but I swear the first time I saw that they were out it had to be like two or three weeks ago when I came up here I'm like why in the heck are the lights still out you guys get it together then he told me that if I wanted to redeem my or to get my points for this transaction to keep the receipt and call customer service and give them my transaction number because their internet is down I'm like what 
What, what is going on, Kirklands? Come on, get it together. Hey, baby. Good morning, sweet sweets. Today is Friday. Um, I really didn't come on yesterday because I've been I've been in a mode. So I'm still getting my guest room together because I have to do it right now. <laughs> like this is today and pretty much tomorrow is all I have to get done. And I'm pretty much done. I'm just like thinking of you know trying to think of some things because this is what I like for my guest room I like for if my guests forget something I like to have it you know or like little things that I kind of use day to day I like to have that too and so I've been setting up the guest room I actually cleaned out the closet last night and um, that's the closet that I I house a lot of my um used to be my office so I had I brought these lights and stuff up from down there and then what else is it oh my Christmas decor is in that closet so I just kind of rearranged some of that because I don't have enough space like I told you guys when I was cleaning out my garage or my my purpose for buying the shelving and stuff in my garage was for my Christmas decor but um, somehow Mark decided it's for his golf stuff too. So <laughs> my Christmas decor does not fit over there. I have like four bins, four to five bins in there. And so I, um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I have to use that closet for that space and for those things. And so, um, I spent a lot of the evening yesterday we didn't have rehearsal so I spent a lot of the evening rearranging that closet so that when they bring you know their suitcases and things like that they can actually have somewhere to put them because the room is small so you know putting them in the room with them might be problematic I wish I could find you know you go to the hotel how they have those little foldable things that you put out and set your luggage on. I wish I could find something like that. I probably can on Amazon, but I done Amazoned out. <laughs> um, so, I think I have like a footstool, something like that. Something like that one down, uh, like a little stool. I don't know if it's a footstool, but it's a stool. I have something like that down there. So, they could probably put that, their luggage on that. Um, but, I created some hanging space for them in the closet and um, yeah stuff like that so right now I'm getting ready to wash my clothes I'm like you are going on vacation Monday <laughs> and so the reason I have to get this done I only have today and tomorrow to get the, the guest room done is because when I come back I get back on Thursday and they come in Thursday night I'm not even sure what time I get back. I think it's probably Thursday evening that I get back. And they come in third late, like close to midnight Thursday night. So um, I won't have time to do any anything, you know, like run any errands or anything like that. So I'm trying to get that stuff done, get that room done before I go. So today I got to wash. I have to wash for me and probably a little bit for Mark. Um... He normally washes his own clothes, but he just, I don't like the way he washes. <laughs> he throws everything in the dryer and I like, I like to hang things up, hang them nice and flat so they're looking nice, you know. So I need to figure out what he's taking, what I'm taking. Um, this is a relaxation trip. We are not trying to do no whole, whole lot, a lot of, I may take a couple outfits so I could take some pictures and that kind of thing, but yeah, I'm looking at these white shirts. I'm probably going to take 
a white shirt or two. Where's my linen one? That's what I need to find. I need to find my white linen shirt and then, um, because that's a good cover up, a good, you know, with some denim shorts. Um, that's just the kind of vibe I'm, I'm going for. It's Mexico. Uh, the, the vibes are relaxed and I need to, um, I need to find a better <laughs> look. Look now, I'm looking. I need to find a better way to to stack up these hats, cause I wish I had enough. Maybe I could put some up there. Mm hmm. Let me let me figure that out. And then I brought some shoes, cause I had shoes down in that clock in that uh, room downstairs display. So I need something like this over on this side however see like i think that's too wide for there i can't use that one because it's too wide that space is more narrow so i need to find something that will um allow me to go up with some shoes because i got a few pairs of shoes like one two three four five five pair of shoes that I need to put on a shelf so I could probably go through these shoes that I have and see what I don't really want or wear anymore and um, make space that way <laughs> but anyway uh, yeah so that's what I'll be doing today I think I need to go get a couple more towels and um, I want some fresh towels for them and I need to get a pillowcase cover for the extra pillow. That's all I can think of. I'll show you guys what I've done down there. I think I showed you the, the decor, but I'll show you what I've done down there to prepare for my guests. I just left Anthropology and I got a couple of mini candles. I got me a small candle for for my vacation. I got a small candle for um, the guest room. And then I also got one for Sharice because she wanted one. Um, she has a guest coming to her house, so she wanted a candle. Um, so I picked up one for her. Oh. I got a moto jacket from Zara. Um, I've been looking for one and I almost didn't try it on because I wanted, um, I definitely wanted to be oversized. And I saw where it's, it's an extra large and I saw where they have a, a double X. And so I was looking and looking and I even asked them if they have one somewhere in the back or something they said they did not but I tried on the extra large and it was fine it was you know big enough I think if it was a, a size up it might have even been a little too slouchy so this one is fine it's got a um, high a, like a you know bodycon ribbed um, tank dress that I can um, put. I have some, but they're very, very tattered. <laughs> they're probably from like last last year, maybe the top of the year, or maybe even the year before. Honestly, like 2022, <laughs> um, that I had these dresses from Zara. They were like $19.90 now. They then moved up and now they're $20, $29.90 now. So I got one of those. It's kind of almost the color of my skin. Um, but it's a color that I don't have. I have a couple of black. I actually have two of the same in black. But these are like, you know, basic pieces for me. And so I'll wear them with a lot of things and also around the house. So, Ooh.
Y'all say hi to Nina. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome downstairs. We got Donna Karen, new collection. It's so how new is it? It's just been half of the week from New York. Really? Yeah, so I just collection here, yes. This is the collection. Um this is this is Palo Santo. Mm -hmm. And then it. what was that one? The Roly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, those two smell really, really good. I didn't really like the one with the fig, right? Okay. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. They're very, um, they're very, like, inexpensive and moderately priced. <laughs> okay, what do you want to show me? Okay, are you ready? Ooh. Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> um, I've seen it where they're rolling. Okay. Around the eyes. I don't know if this is that though. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Ready? Okay. So microneedling was actually invented 16 years ago by a man named Dr. Terry James. Mm. He has a patent on it. He created this machine. It is the only at home microneedling device that is FDA approved, patented, and legally allowed to use the term microneedling. Mm. Yeah, so what is it doing? The red light is going to stimulate collagen. Collagen drops off by 40% when we hit 30. Mm -hmm. The needles are 540.3 millimeters, so they're very tiny. It feels like a massage, no pain at all. Mm. And what they do is they create micro channels in the skin. Now, micro channel is going to make whatever product that you like, whatever brand, okay, actually okay. go into the skin. Makes it work 200 times better. Yeah. I'm going to show you. I call it my magic trick. So can you feel it at all? A little bit. It's on a teeny. It's barely. Okay. Let me show you what it well, does. You should get it on me. <laughs> I can. I do. I do. I personally, I do it for 30 seconds every single day. 30 seconds. 30 seconds for my whole face, and then I'll show you what it did for my neck too. I have some great before and after. Okay. Are you ready for the magic trick? Yeah. So where we needle, the channel stay open for five minutes. You're gonna see that it just instantly disappears into the skin. Nice, right? Watch this. That's, yeah, that's crazy demonstration. So it'll okay. actually never go in. I have been doing skin for 25 years. I went to school to be an esthetician and never once did they cover the fact that we don't absorb product. It literally oh. just sits. And what we tend to do is just do this until we glaze ourselves and wipe mm -hmm. it away. Spontaneous purchase or not. <laughs> wow, like, yes. whoa. So it's absolutely incredible. Um, did I show you my before and after? I think I just showed this guy. No. Okay, so no joke, one month. No way. Yes way. I told her she using the filter. No. <laughs> okay, let me show you what it did for my neck. Because okay. my neck is the best part. So, about two years ago, I weighed 220 pounds. I had a 33 BMI. I was beautiful, but I felt like doing something different for me. Mm -hmm. So I went and I did a mommy makeover. Okay. I did liposuction, buckle fat removal, tummy tuck, whole shebang, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when you're 40 with a 33 BMI and you suck all the fat out of your neck, yeah. that happens. Yes. So I was showing my doctor, and I was like, okay, what are we going to do about this? Because I'd rather be heavy than have an old lady neck. Mm -hmm. And so he wanted to do more surgery. I didn't want to do that. Right. I was not down. And so I knew this was recommended for the neck. I've been using it since 2018. I said, let's give it a good old school try. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, two months. Yeah, because you look good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as you said you're a skincare girl, I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, I love skincare. I was telling you, I don't care about makeup and skin. Uh huh. Skin is the thing. Yeah. So this one, we suggest you keep it in the fridge or freezer. Mm -hmm. When you take it out, it's super cold, anti inflammatory. You use it after you put on your skincare. Mm -hmm. It's going to help your pores to close. It's going to help to refine your jawline, your cheekbones. It actually promotes lymphatic drainage, which mm -hmm. helps with overall um, congestion and things like that in the skin. Mm -hmm. And it's great for people who get like neck and migraines. That's why I like it. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I have to keep that in mind. Right now it's 25% off. Okay. All right. And what's it called? What it's is called the Glow Pro by Beauty Buy. The Glow Pro. Yeah. Hi, excuse me. This is the one she was telling you I'm giving these so you can take. Oh, okay. Okay, so Thank it you. has a, a musk in it, but it's one body cream that goes through all the lakes and seams with Chanel butt. I want you to try it with your 
Um, my fragrance, my fr my French defense. Yeah, I can get that out. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So okay. Try that and see what you so it does have a musk in it. It has a musk base. Okay. So it can, and John is our uh, national artist. He said you can, if you wanted it for one fragrance, you could put your fragrance in there, and that would be it. It would match up. Mmm. Mmm. Let me add that one. Do one more. Do one more for me. It's um. Did you get the lid? Yeah, it felt my gift, so it doesn't. I don't want it to get on my bag. On this bag. Here, let me um put it in with something else. Yeah. Okay. So I was asking them, did they have a body cream that was close to like the French Defense, or did they know of one that might match well with French French Defense? And so the um, one of Dina's associates was saying that Chanel has their um, it's like a body cream. It's a has a musk in it, and it's doesn't have a too much of a fragrance but they said that it adapts well to other fragrances so um while i was standing up there talking to chris which is the lady that was telling me about the tool the, the glow thing that makes the, the products absorb into your skin um uh, the other lady from <laughs> chanel she came over to show me the body cream she made me some samples so i'll check that out and i'll let you guys know how that works out whoo i'm gonna be in this friday traffic i was trying to get out the door but <laughs> it's i don't know why i thought i was gonna be able to stop over in that section over there because they all start talking to me and they all um well they know they can't really sell me nothing because dina got me I'm always buying from Dina, you know. I don't care what y'all show me, I'm gonna buy it from Dina. <laughs> y'all, don't pay attention to how crazy I look. <laughs> I came home and I had a few things from Commence Official. I don't know if you've seen them on Instagram, but they come up on my feed all the time. And so I, I put that on and then I'm like, let me just try on all my stuff. <laughs> So I can see how it looks. So this necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think this pearl is supposed to be up here. <laughs> but anyway, this necklace is from Commence Official. Um and then also this belt. Isn't that cute? It's like a chain belt. I have it loose so I can tighten it up so it'll sit up higher. And this will be a little bit longer. But, or will it? No, it won't. This is as long as this gets. Mm -hmm. Maybe if their waist is smaller than mine, this side might hang a little longer. But, anyway, I thought this was cute. Because I think chain belts and stuff like that are back in. So I need to find a um, like a gold one, a gold chain belt, and a silver chain belt. And then this jacket is from Zara. I'm eating peppermint, y'all. Um, this is an extra large. It's not a um double x it does go up to double x i could have gotten that one if i would have waited to order it but this one's good enough for me it's big enough you know um i got plenty of arm room and these sweats are from um anthropology super cute Drawstring waist, these are huge. This is the extra large. And I had to really pull the <laughs> work with the string to get them in. They have pockets, but they're super, I thought super cute. Um, I could put a graphic tee on, I could dress these up, put a blazer on, I can put a sweater and some heels, boots or something. 
I can style these a bunch of different ways. Thought they were cute though for the spring summer. And that's it. Oh, I had another necklace on. This necklace is from Zara as well. I missed out on the love necklace. I think they had that online somewhere else, but I missed out on that one, so I wasn't gonna miss out on this one. I thought it was very, very cute. So I'm trying to see if I hear the smoke detector because I just changed the battery and I changed the battery yesterday actually. And, um, but I didn't know you had to reset it once you change it. And so um, I pulled it down to reset it and I asked Mark, did he know how to do it? And he was like, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on my own. <laughs> so um, I pulled it down. I reset it, I think. Um, pulled the battery out, put it back in, and reattached it. So I'm trying to see if I hear, if I hear the beeping again. Because in my head, I know I hear it in my head. And then the doggone dog is outside, so... It's okay. Do you hear the smoke detector? Uh -uh. I hear it in my head. <laughs> I, I can't hear it outside. I don't hear it. done my hair I've um, packed a few things into my packing cubes I need to do my toiletries it's crazy because the last few times Mark and I have planned a trip or yeah actually had a trip scheduled um, we've had deaths in the family so I think a part of me today was thinking <laughs> You know, not that it's somebody was gonna die, but just something was gonna come up where we couldn't go on our trip, you know. But, so far, so good. 
looks like we might make it. <laughs> really, on that that Saturday before we were gonna, we are we're always scheduled to leave on a Monday. Wait, I can't turn. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Um. Together, but we really need this time. Mark and I both could use this time away um, just to kind of reset, get ourselves together, see something different. I don't know what, you know, being out of the country and all that kind of stuff or out, out together does for us, but it just definitely puts us on the same page and we can kind of um, get a hold of our emotional state of being and um, yeah, just, you know, Recalibrate. That's what we're gonna do. We got a three-day um, vacation. Not long, not much, but you know, it's needed. It's necessary. So we're gonna um, head out early Monday morning, and we will be back Thursday. Okay, is this another detour? Oh no, I can get out. Yeah, so since I got most of my stuff done, I don't have my nails done. I didn't get me and, me and Mama's nails done um, yet. But my thought is we'll go tomorrow. I'll go pick her up after church. And then we'll shoot over to the nail salon. Um, prayerfully, it won't be too crowded. And we can get in and get out. So um, right now I'm going to go... I don't know if you guys watched last week's vlog, but last week um, I was scheduled to go and have lunch with some some of um, my old church members and um, the, the church that I grew up in at, at Friendship in Yorba Belinda. So we're meeting today and we're going to meet at, I think it's Yard House. I guess I better check that out, <laughs> make sure that it's Yard House. In Riverside, we're gonna um, meet up over there and have lunch and kind of just catch up. It'll be good to see them. I haven't seen them in a long time. I am somewhat sleepy. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have all the energy in the world on um, in the mornings, but let it get midday, child. I'm I'm ready to like pull my covers back. <laughs> and lay on the bed you know i may not go to sleep but i just need to you know wind it down i get so unproductive um is somebody honking at me i get so unproductive after like two o'clock <laughs> okay today's outfit is this hat from actually i don't know where it's from because brianna got it for me for my for mother's day last year I have on this Urban Outfitters graphic tee and my sweats are from Anthropology. My shoes are Free People. And I have on my Fendi watch on this arm and my um, Tiffany bone cuff dupe on this arm. Um, my shades are, these are Dior I believe. Yeah, I love these because they're barely there now. I do need to get them tightened because I'm, I've worn a snot out of these. So if I do a little, you know, shake, shaking too hard, they're actually kind of loose. So I do need to take them and get them tightened, but these are like my favorite shades.
<laughs> you know, we over here. We outside. Right. Let me change my shirt. I was about to sit on my bed. So I haven't washed my face yet. I still got makeup on my face. And I'm getting ready to take my lashes off, wash my face, and be in this spot for a while. But um, I'm going to edit this video and close it out here. I'm closing it out here. And I'm going to edit it, um, the video. And But I just wanted to say something real quick. Um, so I just came from the event you guys saw. I was with a lot of the people that I went to church with. I grew up at um, Friendship Baptist Church, and I left when I was 15. So I think I think I went there from like eight to about 15. I was a member there. My dad was a minister of music there. Um, yeah, a lot of my childhood was spent there. A lot of the people that were there today were from the old church, the first building. I think it was their first building. First building that they had before they got their current building. Um, that's where the majority of our time there was spent. We were at the new church. My family was at the new church for just a little while. But we were first on Lemon Street and then we moved to um, um, the college and then to the new building. So <laughs> it's interesting because I do know church hurt is a real thing. Like, you know, every organization has its flaws. There are people in every organization that, you know, have their own reasons for doing what they do. Uh, which is why the Bible tells us to do as, do what we do as unto God. You know, and, and it, when it comes to service, do it unto God. Um, but people have other reasons. You know, some want promotion, some want um, recognition. Some some people do it with an expectancy from the people that they're that they're doing it for. Whatever your reason for doing what you you do, you gotta. The, the reason that the Bible says to do it as unto God is because, you know, God will fulfill you in it if you're doing it for the right reason. Yeah, as a pastor's wife, my husband and I so appreciate church workers, you know, but we do stress that people do it as unto God. It doesn't always translate. Today we were at um, the lunch and a couple of us were talking and I forget what we were talking about but one of the girls just she was like oh I don't um she was like throwing around some f-bombs <laughs> you know like whatever she was talking about was really upsetting her and so um one of the young ladies said well dang we done left the church now she said oh I don't f and go to church I don't f and go to church I left the church a long time ago. I don't effing go to church. And so it was, it left us feeling so uncomfortable. <laughs> we wanted to say like, we know, <laughs> we see. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is a coming together of the people that you used to go to church with. We all, or most of us anyway, that I could see go to church still. So at least have respect for it, my Lord, you know? But she was working in church and some kind of way, I don't really know what happened, so I won't speak to that, but some kind of way, um, she experienced some kind of church hurt and she is clearly, um, got a, she's, she's, she has clearly got a disdain for, um, the church, you know? But it's like, come on, that's why you do what you do as unto God, you know, and not, could it be, you know, the reason that you're hurt, could it be, it could be that some people have hurt her, or could it be the church that you chose to participate in, that you, you know, because a lot of times, you know, when you pick a church, it's for a reason. You know, what was the reason that you picked that church? 
Um, did you allow lo the Lord to lead you? Or, you know, is it some somewhere you felt connected to because you knew people? Or, you know, or you could get your work done there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should let the Lord lead you, number one, to, to where you're being uh, fed. Number two, you should... Um, when you decide you're going to serve, you should also let the Lord lead you as to where to serve, how to um, advance the kingdom, how to what what to pour into, you know. And then when you do it for the right reason, then it'll yield the result that you're looking for. You'll be fulfilled in it, you know. And the church, the hurt part, the hurt. Mm. That way you won't be able to apply that to people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you have to look at why you're doing what you're doing in order. That's what I'm saying. You have to look at why you're doing what you're doing in order to um, to flourish. For it to be, you know, for God to be um, glorified and for you to be edified from doing it. You know. All right, guys, I'm going to close this vlog out and get to editing and I'm going to sleep because it's 6 15 and I'm tired. If you enjoyed this vlog, leave me a thumbs up and, um, you know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you got to my channel or what you liked about this video. I, um, I look forward to communicating with you guys, um, in these vlogs you know what i'm saying i love the certain ones of you who come back each week and leave me a comment i look forward to you and um i like to chat it up i wish i'm gonna do a live one day but i wish we could do something where i could see your faces because i want to see you <laughs> you know i want to see who you are <laughs>